How's it going guys and welcome to yet another video. This time I have something very special for you guys. We have a few scuff controllers. Big shout out to Ricky from Evo Points for hooking us up. We have one Xbox One controller and one PlayStation 4 controller. So we're gonna have a look at these things in real detail. A lot of you guys might be sitting there wondering what is a scuff controller? Well, hopefully we answer those questions in detail for you today. Shall we begin? I think we should. Firstly, let's look at our Xbox One controller in sexy ass blue. And let's see what makes this different than our standard boring black controller. Oh, so boring. Oh, sleepy, sleepy. Ah. Let's check it out. Okay guys, first up we're gonna have a look at the Xbox One scuff controller and more specifically the thumbsticks. Now, at first glance, they look almost identical to the regular Xbox One thumbsticks, but if you look closer, you'll see one has sort of a concave shape, the other is more domed off, more of a convex shape, uh, easier for you know quick scoping and stuff like that. This uh, configuration is completely up to you. You can have them both convex, both concave, your choice. So there's, you, know, you can get some customization in there as well. The thumbsticks themselves are made out of a very high quality uh, rubberized plastic, so to speak. And uh, I don't think they're gonna wear that easily. I've used these quite extensively and there's no visible wear or tear. And they just, they feel really, really good. I don't think they're gonna wear down that easily. So that's, that's good, that's good news. If we, uh, we flip the controller over, we start to see the, the real meat and potatoes of the operation here. This is the, the scuff grip over here. As you can see, this very, very rubberized looking uh, surface. Now, it, it looks like something that's gonna create a lot of sweat in your hands. It doesn't, however. Uh, I've used these like a good three, four hours on end and, um, and this is, it just feels comfortable. It doesn't make your hands sweat. I don't know what, you know, dark wizard came up with this, but uh, it really does feel good in your hands and it's obviously, it obviously grips your hands, which is the main purpose. Then we have the, uh, the pedals that they like to call the Sidewinder pedals. Now this is the real uh, showpiece of the scuff controller right here. What these pedals do is they actually replace the face buttons. So, so what's the point of that? Why, why replace the face buttons? You got the face buttons, that's retarded. It ain't, because if you have a look, if you're playing a game and you need to reload or jump, you actually have to take your thumb off of the stick to do these things, losing a second or two, messing around, what am I doing here? I'm wasting time, I could be over here. That's where the scuff controller comes in and you can actually remap those face buttons to these pedals over here. So you can actually play and I can reload on the fly without having to take my hand off the controller, which is key. Uh, you can obviously remap all four face buttons. I only have two pedals on here, but you can see there's grooves for another two. It comes with a little tool so you can take them on and off and put them where you like, which is great. And uh, it obviously takes batteries, just like any, any old controller. The battery life on these things is fantastic, by the way. I've been rocking the same pair of batteries for about a month now, so you know, no complaints there. I don't think you know they've disabled rumble and all that to make the controllers lighter as well as last a bit longer battery life wise. So, but all in all, a fantastic controller. Obviously, you know, the styling you can get it in you know various colors. Very cool styling. The baby blue works nicely, and like I said, the the grip and the paddles are very cool. Lastly, is the the triggers themselves. As you can see, it's got like a, a bit of a hair trigger. You don't have to pull the trigger all the way to the back to, to break a shot in like a shooting game. You can, you can actually set this yourself and you can have it very short or like a little bit longer. As it is now, it's a little pull before breaking the shot just to compare it to the, the other, the old Xbox One if you take a look here. The, the pull on this one, hold on, there we go, is way, way longer compared to the scuff. Look at that. So yeah, that's definitely gonna improve your shooting time. A big advantage. So yeah, all in all the Xbox One scuff controller is fantastic, it's well made, it's light, it's got great battery life. The, uh, the Sidewinder pedals work fantastically and uh, the grips are great. It really is an all round solid control. Very happy with it. Now let's take a look at the PlayStation 4 scuff controller. This is actually like, a, this is a very special controller. As you can see, it's got a cool like digital camo finish. Uh, if you look even closer, you'll see that the buttons are actually all blacked out. It's like a stealth effect. 
uh, it looks very, very cool. So you actually don't have any, any triangles, square, none of that. So if you're a first time gamer, don't pick this up because you're going to be like, what the shit's going on? But uh, obviously veteran gamers will know where everything is already and it just really looks pretty badass. It's also with the with the joystick, with the thumbsticks once again, it's got this configuration as one uh, convex, one concave. That obviously you can customize. It's made out of the same materials as the Xbox One scuff, so it's you know it's it's just it's made of a very high quality rubberized plastic. Feels good, looks very cool. If you flip it over, once again we have the uh, the two paddles. On the back here, the two the two electric magnetic contact points here, you can hear them clicking away. And, uh, and it works in a very similar way to the Xbox One scuff controller. We have the Pro Grip handles over here. It's uh, it's not as uh, texturized as say the the Xbox One version. You can you can check it out here. Uh, it, it you know it still provides a lot of grip, and you, you know your hands are not going to be sweating on it. But I, I kind of prefer I kind of prefer the finish on the Xbox One controller a little bit a little bit more. It just it just it really grips your hands so well. But uh, but this does provide a lot of grip. It really is like a sticky rubberized. Uh, surface just not as much as the Xbox one and once again, you know, you, you can customize uh, the, the length of the pull on these paddles if you want a bit of, you know, a, even a shorter contact you can uh, Obviously the PlayStation 4 DualShock is rechargeable battery life once again, no rumble uh, You're gonna get much better battery life with the uh, with the scuff PlayStation 4 controller and all in all it just I, I, I love the look of this thing It's just beautiful to look at. I mean just just look at that I mean, the whole video could just be this in slow motion and, and I'd, I'd buy one, I'd be happy with that. It just really is the design, whoever designs the, you know, the, uh, the graphics for these things deserves a high five, it just really looks great. Once again, the, uh, you know, the, the triggers, uh, if you look at a, a, a regular DualShock, they, they, they aren't as, say, uh, customizable as the, uh, the Xbox One. And uh, they, they, they look very similar to the standard, but uh, I don't know, they, they, they've got a better feel, a better sort of spring feel. It just feels like a better quality, quality spring. This is a bit more fidgety. I don't know if you can hear the difference. But they do feel, they do feel like they've just been re-engineered slightly. And they, and they do feel good. I do also prefer the, uh, the triggers on the Xbox One controller, especially for first person shooters. But uh, I mean, as a as a DualShock 4 controller goes, this is just this is just basically like controller porn right here. You know, I feel you know I feel bad the kids are watching this. It's just that's what it is. It's just controller porn, and it's a it's a great controller. Highly recommend it as well. If you got the bucks, it just really is. It just it, it's just great. It's just everyone should have one. Go out and get one now. So very happy with the DualShock 4 scuff controller as well and uh, she's definitely the prettiest girl at the dance so not only are scuff controllers highly functional and easy to customize and improve your game but they are damn damn dead sexy i mean look how gorgeous these things are they're beautiful in fact scuff controllers are so sexy i bet you that they could walk into a bar and pick up a lady friend with no problem whatsoever in fact let's test that theory right now here we have a very boring dull normal dual shot controller and here's a pretty lady in the bar. Hey baby, I saw you from across the bar. Oh yeah? Yeah, I was just wondering if I could maybe buy you a drink. Ah, uh, no thanks, I have a boyfriend. Lame. Enter the scuff controller. Hey lady, how's it going? Checked you from across the bar. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw you there. Uh, don't I know you? Yeah, yeah, do we go to high school together or something? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we did. How you been? Oh, uh, great. Oh, uh, can I buy you a drink? No, why don't we just go back to your place? Yeah, okay, done deal. Scuff controller. So at the end of the day, what's the point of getting a scuff controller? Well, if you are competing, especially in a game like Call of Duty, seconds count. Bullets go pretty fast last time I checked, and this will give you a few extra vital seconds in the game. If I was playing a guy with a standard controller versus this, and I knew how to use this, and I had this customized to my own personal outfit, I can guarantee that I would have about a second or two up on the guy with the standard controller. That's why a lot of competitive gamers are moving to scuff controllers. 
All right, guys, that about does it for my scuff controller review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. If you did like it, don't forget to please subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for other unboxings or reviews you'd like to see, leave it in the comments. We'll have a little, little chitter chatter together. And maybe, yeah, maybe I'll review whatever you want to see next. Don't forget to like us on Twitter and Facebook as well. And until I see you next time, guys, have a good gaming week. How's it going, guys? I thought I'd put this little video together because uh, I was seeing a lot of people, you know, on the forums and just uh, in general asking the same question when it comes to headsets for both the PS4 and Xbox One. A lot of guys will know, is there a headset that works for both systems? Uh, well.